team uh, all facing the same not able to uh, hear me hello i am placing the conductors like this team. so this conductor placement generally if i ask you to place the conductors then what is the question you will get, you will ask what is the conductor and what is the spacing to be provided between the two conductors right these are the two questions you will get if i tell this so you have to decide this the spacing is decided in the trail case suppose at first we will assume 4 meters just by uh, in initial of the design we will assume 4 meters as a spacing and what is a conductor so this conductor size again depends upon the first of all we have to calculate the type of the material to be laid so generally in the substations uh, we can we are using mild steel uh, flats or copper rods so we have to calculate the size of that uh, suppose if i am using the uh, mild steel flats ms flat mild steel flat i have to calculate what is the size of the flat required whether to lay 75 into 8 mm flat or 10 into uh, 100 into 16 mm flat or 50 into 8 mm flat so for this again the concept is our conductor design what we have designed the conductor my conductor should withstand for the short circuit current what is my short circuit current 25 kilo amps per 33 kb 40 kilo amps per 220 kb so now you have to select the conductor based on whether this conductor can withstand to carry that 40 k if you look 40 kilo amps of the current for one second or three seconds or not so based on this there is a formula i will show you that so based on this you will conclude whether uh, you require 75 into 8 or 100 into 16 or 50 into 8 so based on this you are forming a grid like this the space uh, horizontal or vertical you are forming a grid like this so this is the grid so by this grid you can come to know that how much length of the this conductor you laid and you know the resistance of this conductor based on that you are calculating the grid resistance so after getting the grid resistance multiplying this ig with the rg you are getting the gpr which is the ground potential rise this ground potential rise if this ground potential rise is less than the step voltage if this ground potential rise is less than the step voltage, your design is fine. Your design is good. If you are not able to uh, get this in the most of the projects, you will not this you will not meet this criteria. If you are not meeting this criteria, then you have to calculate the two voltages again. Those are attainable touch voltage or the mesh voltage or attainable step voltage what is the maximum touch voltage and what is the maximum touch voltage you can experience now by laying this conductor now you form a conductor you form a grid you form the grid and now you are seeing that what is the touch voltage and the what is the step voltage occurring in my substation if you have 25 kilo amps of the fault current it was uh, occurred or 40 kilo amps of fault current is occurred now you have to meet the criteria that this attainable touch voltage should be less than 260 volts which is a tolerable touch voltage and this attainable step voltage should be less than this tolerable uh, tolerable step voltage so these two things depends upon uh, again the factors one is a soil resistivity again and uh, the spacing of the conductors the length of the conductor the depth of laying all these things so mainly it depends upon the resistivity of the soil it depends upon the resistivity of the soil so the resistivity of the soil is less you can achieve this result in a quick or else you have to increase the conductor if you are increasing the conductor so you are making a much parallel operate, parallel connections if more parallel connections 
my in a parallel the resistance will comes down if the resistance is comes down the gpr is comes down and the same resistance is also a factor of this both so these will also can be uh, will be low and may it may it may come below this value at some point so that point is your or uh, is your the spacing uh, criteria so you started with 4 meters for 6 meters and you you not met the criteria and you are decreasing it 5 and you are not met the criteria and you are 4 3 2 and 1 also generally 6 to 3 it will work if you are moving down towards the 2 or 1 what will happen is the step voltage will increases the step voltage will increases if the spacing is less that is again one more thing so you have to meet the both conditions one is the touch voltage and the step voltage so you have to look into this if you are not able to meet this values with by doing this then you have to go for the another uh, optimal another parameter tuning the next one is depth of laying you have to lay this uh, generally uh, we are be laying this mat at 0.6 meter step if not then we are going to the next 1 uh, meter step if you still you are not getting the uh, you are not able to get the result then you are tuning the one more factor which is the resistivity of the soil that is uh, because of the high resistivity the earthing design is not you are not meeting the criteria so you have to go for a low resistivity soils then you can see that otherwise uh, treating the soil with a bentonite powders or black cotton soils all these things so by this you will come to know uh, you will get these results you can achieve this results that the attainable touch voltage is less than the tolerable touch voltage and the attainable step voltage is less than the uh, tolerable step voltage so this is the way of and uh, uh, designing to your acting system any doubt still now all clear sorry when you say soil treatment what 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 you mean by soil treatment soil treatment in the sense suppose uh, at present i am have uh, in my soil is uh, uh, having a resistivity of uh, suppose uh, 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 100 ohms per meter uh, by uh, the we are we are performing the earth resistivity test by using four four pin method or vendor method right so from this we will come to know that the average soil resistivity in that location suppose it's uh, it's assumed to be at 100 ohms per meter so Uh, we cannot achieve. Uh, we cannot suppose we are not attaining uh, the uh, uh, the criteria of this earthing design with this hundred ohms. Yes. Then what we will do is we will dig uh, some top of the soil uh, at the depth of point three or point four meters, and we will fill that soil again with the uh, some uh, some soil which is having a low resistivity like black cotton soil. Now you can't assume that. Now suppose I treated with a twenty five ohm per meter soil. now you should not treat the the resistivity is 25 ohm per meter you have to calculate the again the resistivity if you are having a two types of soils again that was mentioned here in this guide let me show you that you have to follow some graph here so you will get to uh, calculate the uh, resultant uh, soil resistivity it could not be the 100 ohms and it could it is not 25 ohms it may be results between this uh, like a uh, 50 ohms or that suppose let's see here let's see here uh, this is a two two layer soil method the like graphical method uh, let's suppose uh, choose the resistivity of soil is 100 ohms and i am having one more resistivity soil at top of the soil or under down maybe could be so it's a 300 ohms now if i am p2 by p1 is 3 so i am draw, drawing a graph here on the figure 23 see the figure on the figure 21 this one graph and uh, uh, read the a by h from this and it is 2.7 and uh, from the figure 23 for the pa by p pa by p1 is 2 compute this and by analyzing this uh, by doing this again g i found the res apparent resistivity of soil is 200 amps so this totally depends upon the this graph sun's this uh, sun's uh, graphical method and this okay and i found that apparent uh, resistivity is 200 it seems that 
100 not 100 ohms not 300 ohms your resistivity is 200 again it's it's not a divide by 2 it's not like that also mostly it's over changes on the graph got my point so you can yeah. decrease what the I, resistivity what ask is what is a sorry is there a product that you put in the in the soil to decrease the resistivity product uh, ashwin i didn't get your point please uh, repeat the question do you put some product in the in that part of the soil just to get a good resistivity some chemicals product, yes uh, that is the other way uh, yes we are having different types of products like one one is a gem compound uh, uh, or let's say bentonite powder is uh, one product but you cannot place these products for entire land right so these are best for yes. the earth pit designs uh, like uh, suppose you are having some electrodes there for the treatment for individual earth pit if you want a desired value then this a chemical treatment will benefit there in the entire substation you cannot do entire land with the chemical it's very costlier right so <clears throat> generally here the soil treatment is the best one compared to the okay. chemical treatment okay thanks so uh, suppose uh, let's assume i am having this land and uh, if i am just looking into the soil uh, this is my ground level okay uh, now the entire soil uh, i um, laid a mesh here which is at some 0.6 meter uh, at that now this resistivity of soil is suppose a 100 ohms with this 100 ohms or two let's suppose 200 ohms with the 200 ohms uh, resistivity of soil i cannot meet the criteria of e touch voltage attainable should be less than the tolerable and the step voltage less than that is this concept this criteria is not meeting so it's not meeting this criteria I tuned the spacing, I increased the depth, and I also increased the length of the conductor, but uh, I am not able to uh, get this result. So the next last one is, it's totally because it's not attaining because of its high resistivity of the soil, which is the main thing effect on the resistance. So I have to decrease this resistance. So how can I decrease that? So what I will do is, I will remove the top layers of the soil, and this, I will remove this, and I will uh, replace this soil with some black cotton soil. Okay. Now this black cotton soil having the resistivity of 25 ohms. Suppose 100 ohms. Right. Now, I can't say that now my resistivity of soil come, came to 100 ohms. So for this, you have to calculate the apparent resistivity of the soil because you are having two types of soils. So that calculation is with respect to this sense graph method. So that is this. Uh, like uh, I am plotting the P1, P2, P1, P2s. And uh, I found that 100 by 300 bar, 100, 3. And I am drawing a curve here on the 3, maybe at some uh, part, PA by P1. Uh, which is equal to 2, this curve, this is the curve, and uh, uh, read the A by H equal to 2.7, this is the part, and uh, figure the P A by P, uh, P A by P1 equal to 2, and this leads to, this graph uh, line may leads to some 200 ohms. So it's a kind of thing that so how may it's it seems upon that two into uh, p1 which is uh, 100 it's a 200 so 200 ohm uh, ampere is the uh, apparent sorry 200 ohm per meter is my apparent resistivity of this and at a time depth is also it's a main uh factor uh which is h equal to a by a by h it's a 23 23 feet i'm checking about the 23 feet it is generally a sense graph, a sense graphical method. Uh, I will show you some values here. Uh, Multi-layer soil. 